Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. And new this morning, the Obama administration will allow more veterans to get health care outside Veterans Affairs facilities following recent revelations about long wait times and treatment and purported secret lists and hidden backlogs. Shouldn't this have been happening from the beginning? Mm. Meantime, as they wait for care for our nation's veterans, they're also waiting on Congress. 14 bills passed meant to reform the VA have been passed through the House right now, but now they're sitting on Harry Reid's desk. Oh, they're collecting dust right now. That includes one. It's this one right here that is just three pages long. One, two, three. And Democrats say that they need more time to review this one. Really? Yeah. Joining us now is, Congress, is a congressman who sponsored several of the bills collecting dust on Harry Reid's desk, Texas Congressman John Culberson. Nice to see you this morning, Congressman. Welcome back to the show. Good morning. Good to be with you. So how many bills are out there right now? 14 that you guys have passed and they're just sitting there? What, what has been the response right now from the Senate that, that we want to make sure we do our due diligence and spend the time reading these bills, the three-page bills that are sitting here? Yeah, it's very disappointing that, uh, for, for example, Bernie Sanders would stand up and block on behalf of Harry Reid a piece of legislation that's designed to make it easier for the VA secretary to fire employees who are blocking VA's ac veterans' access to VA hospitals. These are simple common sense reforms that are based on uh, our core principles as fiscal cons free market conservatives in the House and every single one of them is dying in the Senate. It's just unacceptable and I'm really glad you're bringing attention to this this morning. Yeah, and Congressman, uh, the privatization is the new piece of this this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, you say this is long overdue? Absolutely. This is just fundamental. I th as a free market fiscal conservative, as my colleagues uh, as in the House are, it's just common sense. If a service can be found in the Yellow Pages, we believe it ought to be privatized as much as possible. And certainly when it comes to our veterans, and remember, as we approach Memorial Day, our men and women in uniform fighting the war on terror, they're all volunteers. They are less than one half of one percent of the nation have stepped forward to serve us and protect us. They deserve our very best. They need immediate access to medical care. And uh, we need to do everything in our power to clear those log jams and get them into the VA hospitals as soon as they need it. You know, we had, uh, we had Colonel Peters on the show yesterday, Colonel Ralph Peters, and he says, look, Eric Shinseki, who's in charge, he should stay. He should stay because it's not his fault. It's Congress's fault. If you want to put, you, you want to put pressure on Congress to get answers, the oversight, they've received $150 billion has the VA. Why hasn't Congress in their oversight capacity pushed the VA to do more? What say you? We have done that in the House. In fact, I'm chairman of the VA uh, uh, Military Construction Appropriations Committee, and I found the fastest way to get the bureaucracy to move is to restrict their access to money until they get the job done. So when it comes to, for example, an electronic medical record to be read by uh, the VA when someone leaves the uh, services, we fenced off their money and said, you don't get access to the rest of this money until you get an electronic, seamless medical record that can be read by the VA immediately. And we're approaching that in the House in the same way on all of these issues, doing everything we can through the appropriations process, through these bills that you've mentioned, this, these dozen pieces of common sense legislation to make the VA accountable, responsive, and move rapidly. These have all passed the House. We're just waiting on Harry Reid and the Democrats right. to quit worrying about protecting the unions and focus on protecting our veterans. But, Congressman, uh, we've got to go. Finally, I mean, how do, you, how do you make any decisions when the decisions you would be making is based on false information? Well, we are, in fact, in the House. We're, I, for myself, have already been out to uh, VA facilities in the, in the Houston area. Uh, we're investigating this on our, on our own behalf. We've got staff helping us, but we've also added money to the Inspector General's office, over yeah. $2 million to hire additional investigators and make sure we get to the bottom of it. Okay. We need to make sure that the VA Secretary has got the authority to hire and fire people in the same way General Shinsheki did right. when he was in the Army. Congressman John Culberson, we appreciate you joining us this morning. We hope you have a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. Thanks for bringing this Thank to our you, attention. Thank you, sir. Thank Coming you very up much. Here, you